be back in a minute. Does anyone, does anyone like to ask a hand or a question about the movie? I think, well, if I can start, I would like to ask a hand or about having been in Cuba. I think even though it's a comedy, I think it represents Cuba in ways that uh, films I've seen before haven't, just the actual like, chaotic nature of the Cuban household. So <laughs> I would like to ask a hand or a little bit about that. So, Sí, eh, Arturo, eh, director de la película, eh, se, se propuso eh, hacer como un, un homenaje a de Camarón Habanero, pero tras traspolarlo a la a la Cuba, a la a una Cuba eh, actual y eh, en el tono comedia pero que fuese una comedia fina ¿verdad? no burda ni, ni grotesca y, y sí, esa fue la intención de, de tratar de tener la pluralidad de una Cuba en diferentes clases sociales diferentes estatus diferentes maneras de, de, de las personas vivir, de hablar de, y bueno, pienso que, que lo logramos en, en la película uh, this was the intention of Arturo Soto to pay homage to the actual Cuba uh, and create a comedy that was not grotesque but quite kind of measured and his intention was that he represents with the the book which the film is based on this real Cuba, uh, this many different Cubas and the intention was that within that to get characters of different social classes get people who spoke different ways, had different manners about them, and I think in the film he, he achieved that. Una de, la, de las virtudes que ha tenido el cine cubano, a diferencia de, de la televisión cubana o de otras eh, 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 áreas de la cultura cubana, es que el cine cubano ha registrado el, todo el proceso eh, de la historia cultural social que no ha ido a, a estos otros medios. Y lo ha hecho desde un compromiso de, 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 de dejar registrado una, una historia social eh, y que las generaciones futuras puedan eh, ver cómo, cómo era esa Cuba. Y el cine cubano ha, ha tenido ese mérito <coughs> eh, que no ha tenido otras eh, eh, áreas de la cultura. One thing I think is quite unique about Cuban cinema is had the capacity to uh, show areas of life, of Cuban life, which other facets of society haven't been able to, for example, or TV or other areas of culture. And I think that in the future, people will be able to look at it, Cuban cinema, or, or can look back on it as a kind of social document or social history. And I think with that being said, it achieves a lot of uh, a merit in the cinema that we're making in Cuba. Eh, para mí es, es de las películas Arturo Soto mejor escrita de él. Eh, yeah. Trip, we've got 20 minutes. I've just asked and checked. So we can have 20 ten. minutes of a QA, no which is great. Okay. Para mí es de las mejores películas Arturo eh, escrita y lograda. Eh, es una película escrita, o sea, muy inteligente de, de parte de Arturo. Eh, con un humor fino, con cultura, con conocimiento. Y, y ahora viendo la película, empecé a recordar eh, cosas del proceso creativo. Y Arturo y yo tenemos una manera de trabajar que nos aprendemos los diálogos de los actores de toda la película. Y en situaciones que estamos ante la vida, a veces nos acordamos un diálogo y lo decimos, y es como eh, esa manera de, de, de reencontrarnos y de, y, de, y de conocernos desde el punto de vista profesional eh, ante una película. Uh, I would consider it one of Soto, Arturo Soto's best films, which he's done. Uh, I think it's a very intelligent film, uh, full of knowledge, uh, full of awareness of culture. And uh, while watching the film this afternoon, I uh, kind of, when we, those mm -hmm. I, I remembered back to 2014 when we when we created it, 
and the, the process that we went through to do so and especially in my work with uh, Arturo, myself as the editor, where we would uh, read and learn all of the dialogues of all of the characters beforehand but while doing so we would uh, recall instances of our own lives where we would uh, include that within the dialogue of the, the actors playing the roles and I think that uh, I've got very fond memories of that professional process that I had with Arturo. Uh, I would also like to ask uh, how it was working with uh, Pedro Garia. Hmm. You know, the, I'm sure many of you know him, but one of the actors in it, he was like the, the fixer with the British guy. Mm -hmm. he, he, he's someone who I definitely admire for a long time, so I'd like to ask Alejandro what it's like to have him close and to see him in a working capacity. Cuéntanos un poco de trabajar con Pedro Garia. Bueno, con Perú Ría, eh, Arturo eh, ha venido haciendo casi todas sus su películas, excepto su primera película, eh, Pon tu pensamiento en mí. Eh, eh, en mi caso, eh, yo le debo mucho a Perú Ría porque Perú Ría me, como que me adoptó de muy joven y me, me, me ayudó a, a conocer, a trabajar con él, me dio la oportunidad de... de, de trabajar en sus películas, él como director, eh, eh, yo siendo muy joven editando sus películas. Entonces, eh, es una experiencia que es como le decimos, es un cubanazo, es, un, es un, uno de los actores, el actor más internacional, eh, el rostro de, más internacional de los actores cubanos. Y, y es un hombre que ama el cine cubano y que a pesar de que ha hecho su mayor carrera fuera de Cuba, eh, tributa siempre al cine cubano y, y tenerlo eh, es una maravilla siempre en las películas. Yo no, yo no considero que mi primera película de ficción sea sin Juan Perú Ríos, a, punto, a ese punto. La última parte. Que yo, que yo no, nunca he pensado hacer mi, mi película de ficción sin, mm. sin la posibilidad de no tener a, a Perú okay. Ríos. So, Jorge Perú Garía. Eh, yeah, uh, Arturo Soto has been involved in the majority of his films and uh, it's someone that Alejandro holds very close to heart as a person because he said he owes him a lot for his career. Uh, Perugoria adopted him uh, when he was young as a young filmmaker and he let him edit and help in a lot of his films and for that reason he considers him like a, a very kind of uh, emblematic Cuban or Cuban art, so we call him uh, Peachy is the nickname Peachy. he used for him. Yeah. And he said that for most people, of, he's considered the, the face of Cuban cinema. And even though that he's spent the majority of his time making movies outside of Cuba, he's still like the kind of standard bearer for Cuban cinema. And uh, he, he often or always pays tribute to what's going on in Cuban cinema. Una cosa que quería decir, mm -hmm. esta película gana en el Festival de La Habana, de Cine de La Habana, gana el premio de guión mm -hmm. y premio del público. Y yo recuerdo que eh, Arturo y yo estábamos en, en la gala de premiaciones y cuando dijeron premio y guión no lo creíamos porque la comedia siempre ha sido el género de cine un poco subvalorada dentro del de cine de, ar, de arte. Y que un festival de arte tan importante como el de La Habana gane el premio y guión. O sea, eso era como que una película muy bien escrita, ¿sabes? Y uno de los premios con los que más felices estamos de la película. Uh, one thing I'd like to uh, say about the film is that it won the award of Best Script and it won the award, the Public Award of Best Movie in the Havana uh, Cinema Awards. Was that 2000, 2014? And I was present at the award ceremony with the director, Arturo Soto, and when we won it or when we won the prizes, we were genuinely surprised because uh, comedy movies and, and the grand scheme of things in, in the cinema universe in Cuba are not as appreciated as the other uh, types of movies. So for a comedy movie uh, to win the, the, the public prize or the prize of script in the Havana uh, Film Awards, which is a, a big award ceremony, uh, it definitely, uh, it, was, it was an important moment, I think, and uh, one, that, uh, one that kind of uh, highlights the, the quality of the movie itself.
Y bueno, Arturo Soto es el escritor, es el que hace el personaje del, del escritor. Ese es el director. Arturo Soto, he's in the, in the cast, ah, he's, he's the writer. Ah, yeah, so I, I didn't know that. Yeah, so yeah. The, the director's the, the, with the glasses. <laughs> sí. uh, uh, just while we're talking about uh, cinema, I'd like to ask, a, uh, we can ask a question about the film, of course, but I'd like to just highlight here, I should have done beforehand, but Alejandro lives here in Glasgow. But uh, everyone connected to the festival is very proud that he's just been given an award by the Cuban Film Institute, I think, uh, or the uh, Cuban Production of Films uh, Fund to make a feature film. And cuántos había uh, entre el fondo? Fueron 38 proyectos y 16 de los directores de cine más importantes, incluyendo Arturo, <laughs> compitió conmigo. So yeah, 38 directors uh, submitted a script to have their film made by the Cuban Board of, uh, or the Cuban Film Institute. Uh, 16 of whom are considered the most, the creme de la creme of Cuban cinema, including, uh, including Arturo Soto. My, my and, teacher. <laughs> and uh, Alejandro won, so uh, last week. So uh, uh, we'll be making a film next year. Uh, if you'd like to tell us a little bit more about the film you'll be making, but before, but yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Eh, hice, eh, es un documental eh, musical sobre una tradición que solo se practica en, en Cuba eh, y en Ámsterdam, en Holanda, pero que tiene un surgimiento, viene de Francia, es el órgano oriental. Eh, el órgano oriental es, es, es como, eh, sabe, cuando hablamos de órgano pensamos en los órganos de iglesias, los instrumentos de las iglesias, pero no, esto es, un, es como un piano con ruedas que se mueve por, y pesa mucho y eh, el oriente de Cuba se caracteriza por esa tradición y tiene un vínculo eh, muy arraigado con Francia porque viene de Francia, pero Francia pierde la tradición del de órgano en las calles y Cuba la mantiene, o sea, el oriente cubano la mantiene y Holanda roba de Francia la tradición. So the, uh, my next project is a documentary about uh, the Eastern organ, as I'm mm. calling it. Uh, it's an organ on wheels, which is used in Cuba, which has its infancy in France. But unfortunately, France has lost the, uh, it, it, they don't use it anymore, but it's something that was uh, saved uh, by Cuba and is used in the Eastern side of the island. Uh, and it's a tradition also that's maintained in Amsterdam. Uh, Unlike the church organs, this is one that is used on the street with wheels. That it's it's very heavy, but you push it along and play it. <laughs> Entonces, eh, eh, Amsterdam es eh, el único eh, ciudad que también tiene la la tradición y hay un vínculo con con Cuba. Eh, a partir de un festival que se hace en Amsterdam de organ y bueno es muy interesante el proyecto, eh, sobre todo porque es una música muy artesanal. Eh, hecha con, con las manos, se va a llamar el señor de la música molida. 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 So yeah, there's a relationship with Amsterdam with this tradition, and I think uh, Alejandro actually told me that he'll be filming in Amsterdam mm -hmm. for part of it, and uh, yeah, it's going to be called uh, the man of the 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 wheel the the organ with the wheel, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and it's going to focus on on this. You're going to interview this man, is that correct? Is I have the uh, 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 fifteen uh, characters in the in the movie. Mm -hmm. No, no va a ser un documental eh, clásico de entrevista de eh, personas sentadas en una entrevista. No, es un documental de personajes de descubrir. Cómo viven esos personajes, eh, cómo se han dedicado a esta música, qué hacen, eh, cuáles son su, eh, sus vínculos. Pero no, no es el clásico documental de, de entrevista, eh, personas sentadas hablando de un fenómeno. Es un viaje, es, es como un road movie. It's going to be a, a journey, it's not going to be a traditional uh, documentary of sit down interviews with people involved with this uh, organ instrument. It's going to be one uh, that tries to like pick at the pieces of their dedication towards it and why they're motivated to, 
to play it or, or, or carry on the, the traditions include, uh, related to the, to the organ. Y espero eh, poderlo estrenar aquí en el festival. Of course. Ah. She's hoping that he'll, he'll be able to show it here. Con más personas en el cine y, y, y no COVID. Sí. Y, y, um... Does anyone want to ask something specific about the movie as well? Sorry, I just skipped over that. But... ¿Le gustó yeah, la película? Did you like it? Mm. Yeah. I noticed Alejandro was in it. Sí, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I tapped him on the shoulder. Yeah. I don't know if he's a... Uh, I might want to ask him if he's like a fan of Hitchcock and appearing in all of them. Okay, I'm sorry, in the película. Ah, eh, ese día fui a, a, la, a la filmación. Cuando, cuando editaba películas de eh, ficción, me gustaba participar de vez en cuando en, en la filmación porque tenía una idea a la hora de ir a editar de, del footage, de, de todo. Y me era mucho más fácil eh, el proceso de reconocer el material y de aportar al director, que es lo que hace un editor al final, aportar a, al, al director. Uh, when I'm editing a film, uh, a, a fictional film, and it, or the footage, I'm editing the footage, I always like to be on site and, and see it for myself because I think it makes the process easier for me to edit. And at the end of the day, it helps with the director's job as well. And, that, and that's my job as an editor, to help the director. Y ese día fui y Arturo me dijo, oye, tienes que salir en una película mía. Y yo, bueno, al final no, no hago nada, simplemente es como un, un fotógrafo más, muy flaco. Pero bueno, eh, tengo una aparición en el cine cubano. ¿La única? Sí, la única. So, uh, yeah, that day I went to the set and Arturo told me, we need to get you on, we need to get you into the film. I didn't actually do anything in it, I was just there, well, he's a photographer and the... And it was like a lineup of photographers, I yeah. think, when you were in it. But uh, obviously, Alejandro's uh, happy that he's now part of Cuban cinema, or he's appeared in it from the other side of the screen. Y la única, no lo pienso. La única. It's funny he mentions that because uh, Alejandro's made uh, a name for himself as well in uh, directing music videos. Uh, a lot of them you can see on YouTube. Uh, People like Los Van Van and Emilio, Emilio y La Verdad. And uh, he filmed, there's a really good video called uh, Vuelve La Habana. Mm. Uh, so go back to Havana. And it's filmed between Glasgow, Edinburgh and Havana. And uh, some of us are in it. <laughs> 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 I was told to stand at the back of the room just to block out a Christmas decoration. <laughs> and ended up in it. But uh, yeah, I'd recommend watching some of uh, Alejandro's music videos as well. So it gives a nice feel of uh, Havana and obviously music being at the part of that. ¿Tú pusiste el nuevo video de Bambam se puso? No. ¿El nuevo video de Bambam? No. Ah, there's a new video that I found with Bambam. Is it out? Yeah, I parece yo. We can say that one of the things we were going to do but then Arturo wasn't able to come was show, Ari was going to show. So, um, we can't do it now because we were going to do it yesterday, but what we can do is show it on our page, the Havana Glasgow page. No, that, no we can't do that no, yet. No, because no, I need to release it uh, first. In the, okay, in we need to release it first. Bang, oh, you were all going to get, that's a shame, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, we, 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 that way we were going to get the first preview, um, yeah. but, but we, we haven't got tight we, because they don't know where... Ah, fine, no, 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 no